Welcome everyone to another Tarleton Radio's Top 10 List. This is one for all those Tarleton students out there looking for the best grub a college student can buy. So we bring you Top 10 Places to Eat Around Campus, specifically Stephenville Campus. Hashtag sorry, not sorry, Fort Worth. We the OG, the real deal, Tarleton trademark, the diamond to your cubic zirconium, the name, brand, Tarleton State University. How will we be ranking these today? However we want to. Also, a little about taste, location, and wait time. We have gathered the knowledge, eaten the food, and now we bring you your number 10. The vending machines. Yes, they count. Why? Because we decided they count. Anyway, a spot number 10 goes to the vending machines in pretty much every building. It isn't exactly whole food level brain food, but hey, it's a buck fifty and you gotta have those snack breaks, right? Besides, it's a little like playing the claw machine at CC's. You never know if you'll actually get your prize. Moving on, number nine goes to Oscar P's Pizza. <sighs> no one ever knows the names. You know, it's the place with the pizza and the pasta and the wings next to Chick-fil-A. Yes! Thank you, production guy. You're welcome. Oscar P's Pizza made number nine on our list because they have pre-made items to grab and go. They have a good selection of pizza, pasta, and wings. And if you don't like the pasta on Monday, just wait until Tuesday because their signature pastas change every day. While the location is optimal and the wait time is minimal, we'd have to give the food a 2.5 out of 5 aliens. Pretty solid, but not out of this world. Get it? Because we work at the planet. You know. Dude, just let me tell them the next ranking. Uh, um. Slot number eight goes to T-Birds. Currently residing in the centralized location of the Thompson Student Center next to Chick-fil-A. If you're a bit confused, that's understandable. T-Birds used to be a popular food truck on campus, usually parked between Traditions North and South. However, according to an anonymous source, the food truck concept has been abandoned this semester. Nevertheless, still good burritos that get 7 out of 14 rocket ships. Rank number 7 is taken by Sushi Mama. They have good sushi, handmade, and pretty fresh every day. They offer sushi rolls, bowls, and more. And if you're talented enough to know how to use chopsticks, I tip my hat to you. Honestly, the food is good, they're always pre-made for fast turnover, and conveniently next to, you guessed it, Chick-fil-A. Coming up in number six is Dunkin' Donuts. Just like any donut shop, they offer sweet and savory options. Sprinkle, poppy seed, old fashioned, filled, you get the point. Now, I can't lie to y'all, if it were up to drink standards alone, Duncan would have been higher on our list. But that's not for this video. So Duncan comes in and is safe number six with a seven out of 12 rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles are my favorite. Spot number five goes to Taquilla La Esmeralda. Open for breakfast, lunch, and they have every combination of taco and burrito you could possibly imagine. They have arguably the best breakfast burritos in Stephenville. They are parked across the street from campus next to the Lily's gas station. The reason they're only number five on our list is because their open times are not readily available. If you know when they're open, you know, and if you don't, you really don't. Aside from that, you'll have a really nice experience with the staff and an awesome burrito. Number four goes to a popular study group spot, Beans and Franks. Located across West Washington Street, this establishment holds the coffee shop vibe through and through. It has a relaxed atmosphere, calm lighting, and an entire wall of donated mugs. I honestly had no idea how many different cow mugs existed in this world. Their menu, of course, consists of many different types of coffees, but for food, they offer sandwiches, soups, salads, wraps, quesadillas, baked potatoes, specialty desserts, and ice cream. Definitely 4.6 scoops out of 5. Coming in at number 3 is Big O's. 
the little restaurant owned by the amazing man himself and famous for that lobster bisque. Another cafe-type place located just across the street from campus, and a common spot for Tarleton students to get the best bang for about 10 bucks. Their combo offers a half a sandwich, soup, chips, a drink, and a choice of dessert. Here's an inside secret. If the owner sees you bring in someone new for the very first time, you get a free cookie. Hey, production guy, you ate the cookie. On the scale of 1 to 13 chocolate chips, how was it? That scale makes no sense because I had a walnut, white chocolate, and macadamia cookie. <laughs> now on to our runner-up. Holding rank as number two is Sandilla's Flatbread Cafe, conveniently located next to the Starbucks in the library. Specialty and made to order, these flatbreads do have a longer wait time, but they are a tastier option if you like bold flavors and light meals. Our number one spot goes to Chick-fil-A. It's probably not a surprise, but here it is. No one can compete with the tastiest chicken on campus. A popular chain off campus, it holds true in the Thompson Student Center. The chicken is amazing, the fries are usually stocked, the one downfall is the wait time. Anywhere between noon and 2 p.m., there will be a huge line outside the door of the cafe. But does that really deter anyone from eating this heavenly chicken? No, it does not. Which is why it remains the number one place to eat on Tarleton's campus. There you have it, folks. Tarleton Radio's top 10 places to eat around campus. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and some exciting new content we'll be adding very soon. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you keep your radio tuned to 100.7 The Planet for all your rock and hip hop top hits. <laughs> you have to be excited. Brendan, you suck. <laughs> All right. You're doing great, champ. It's not a cam, like, it's a video. Oh, it is?